Hiya, in this video we're going to look at pages. That sounds boring. It is and it isn't. Um, over here at the moment we're going to end up creating a page. We've currently got a page one. We're going to rename it mobile. We're going to create a second page that's going to have our desktop frames on it. And then we're going to create another page that has our uh, brief and our persona and also our task flow all in one kind of nice figure document. But these pages are going to be nice and separated out. So let's jump in and learn how to make them. All right, so to start off, you've already got a page one. Uh, it's lurking there. It's kind of probably closed up. You're on your layers panel. You've got page one. There it is. You can get quite far in Figma and never have more than page one. Okay, on page one is all of the stuff we've made so far. So we've got, I'm gonna use these little chevrons here to close them down just to make everything look tidier. Okay, so we've got our confirmation page, check out product details. You can rearrange these because that doesn't make sense, does it? Confirmation at the end. Ah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> ah, that feels better anyway. So we've got our frames, which you could argue are pages. Okay, they come more like artboards, but we call them frames because that's what Figma calls them. Pages are a way of separating this kind of artboard here. So page one, you can have more than one page, a page two, and basically you get to here and you go, okay, I'm gonna start making something different. Why would you have two pages? In our case, what we might do, page one might be, I'm gonna double click it and call it mobile. Okay, and this other one is going to be desktop. So I want you to do that because we will design a mobile version and a desktop version in this course. There should be a tablet version as well. We're not gonna design it because mm, we're not. <laughs> it's just a small bit in between. Uh, so we've got our mobile and desktop. Let me show you some other examples of it. Well, you've got a desktop. Let's, before we go, go to our frame tool. Now your frame tool, again, I'm not trying to get too many shortcuts, but the F key is a pretty common one. Okay, over here, I'm gonna say I want desktop, and depending on when in the future you're watching this, this is a really good generic size, um, 1440 by 1024. Okay, um, we're gonna have one, two, three, or four of these. So I'm gonna drag one out. Don't do that, go to your move tool. Okay, grab the name. Hold down the Option key on a Mac, or key on a PC. Hold Shift as well if you if it's not locking into place. It totally is. And then Command D or Control D a couple of times. I love that Command D. So satisfying. Um, so we've got three of them. Okay, go through. I'll speed this up. I'm going to name them all exactly like my mobile one. I totally can't remember, so I'm going to have to flick back and forth. Please hold. Yep, that was a painful copy and paste. <laughs> okay, so that's a good use of pages. There's no reason why you can't just have them underneath here, but you will see before you get too far, they end up looking like this. Uh, let's have a look. That is my mobile one later in this course. Just stuff ends up everywhere. And <laughs> it's not pretty, okay? But it's truthful or honest. It's an honest file, that's what that is. So other use cases uh, is, we're gonna do it in this version as well, is often you'll put another page with things like your task flow and persona. We'll do that in a second. Okay, also let's have a look. I'll show you now because you'll have opened up some of the stuff from the community. Remember we looked at these, um, uh, un icons, uni icons, whatever they are. Okay, over here, I, maybe I flicked through it. Maybe I didn't, I can't remember. But you might have noticed that I kind of might have gone to layers and I might have popped that down because I'm like, oh, there's pages and there's cover and there's unicorns. I want to say unicorns so bad. Okay, and that's how I found it. These are different pages within this one. This one here is just acting as a cover or a thumbnail. Okay, and there's where all the good stuff is. It gets even more hardcore. Let's look at something a bit more big. Okay, I'm at the home, I'm over here at community, and I'm at explore, I'm gonna find the, find anyone, let's try this one. So Microsoft Teams is liable to be massive. So open it up, it's gonna be big. If you've got a slow internet connection and it's a big kit, okay, or a big Figma file, it might take a long time to up to download. Mine's, I've got kind of rural broadband. <laughs> it goes okay, it's on a mobile device, so. Mm, that's that's okay okay what you'll find is can you see in this one is you might get to here and go that's not that useful where's all the rest of it it's in here where all the pages are okay and you'll notice that there's a cover page great um, general information okay they've created a page with nothing on it just to make it easy over here 
Can you see this one doesn't do anything? This one here uh, is where we get started. There's a bit of documentation on it, resources, what else, things to download. So you can see it's quite a complex one. The change log, let's have a look at, I bet you there's more here. Look how many pages this one has. Loads. Okay, let's peek at a bit of them. The layouts, the avatars, the icons. So, um, you know, at the end of this course, we're not going to be creating a full, this would be called a design system. It's called a UI kit. UI kit's understating what this thing does. This is a system, okay, for how to think about everything about Microsoft Teams. So somebody's made this, somebody at Microsoft, okay, and they've separated it out so that me as a designer, if I'm a junior designer, I come in here and I go, all right, I've got to make this um, pop-up window that communicates that I've lost all your files and I'm really sorry. Okay, you can go through here, find, read the guidelines, understand fonts, how they're communicating with different fonts on different platforms, spacing, what colors they are allowed to use, what the colors communicate. So this is a full design system. Later in the course, we'll make a teeny tiny design system, normally called like a style guide. Um, but this is, this is a pretty big use case. But I guess I wanted to just do pages because you're gonna have to file through these. I'm gonna make mine up again. Every page, see in this case, has a bunch of frames in it. Inside these frames, a bunch of other frames and artboards and all sorts of good stuff. So that's what pages are for. Other use cases might be that you have, like say you got mobile, there might be a option one, okay? It might have a specific kind of task flow and you do another mobile option two with a different task flow or different colors or a different look and feel, concept one, concept two. You get the idea. You can use pages to separate it out. I'm gonna get rid of that. What I want you to do though is have a third page and this one's going to be our brief and task flow. Okay, so it's great to have all this stuff together. Um, so it's gonna be at the top. Okay, and in here I want you to bring in the screenshot or the JPEG or however you got your persona earlier on in the course. Okay, I got mine here. So I'm gonna copy and paste this. Yours will be slightly different. I'm kind of building this functionality for you. But earlier in the course, I would have shown you how to uh, create your own persona. And I want you to grab it, the screenshot or the JPEG that you've downloaded and put it onto your brief and task flow. Okay, so we'll put it in here. Yours is probably just a big JPEG. I'm not gonna resize mine. And I'm gonna bring in that task flow. Uh, if you remember from earlier, if you've opened up the task flow, it should be under your uh, little home button, under your name, and where is that task flow? There it is there, task flow. If you haven't opened it, remember, go back there, go to your name, go to drafts, go to import, and the task flow is in your exercise files. There it is there. Open that up, and I just want you to copy and paste it in here. It's just handy to have all your documents, copy, I'm gonna close it down, go back to our initial, the one we're working on together, I'm gonna to put that over there. So my task flow and my brief all in one place so that I can refer back to it easily and we learn what pages do. Simple. All right, do those things and I will see you in the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.